It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in this neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, it kind of seems like I'm always wearing the same outfit, right? But I'm, trust me, I'm wearing like different shirt underneath. We rock in different pants. I got like 13 different gray sweatpants and all that good stuff. So today has been mostly about computer work. I got to go to the UPS store. We're packing more FBA from yesterday. Um, just all this stuff, you know what I mean? It's what we do. Just a daily grind, baby. We might hit um, one or two stores later. But I'm not gonna lie, today I'm kind of feeling lazy and I know I have a lot to do. So I'm not sure what the heck I'm gonna do. But um, right now, just because it's been requested, I don't know why, you guys wanna see me pack boxes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pack boxes. Let's go. All right, so you guys seen, you know, all the stuff I bought yesterday some Elmo's these are merchant fulfilling we got a bunch of clothes there I'm gonna set the phone up on the gorilla pod these things check this out so when I talk about getting burned from China look at the way that's spelled you notice anything different that's how I got and honestly I can't even sell them for like five bucks nobody wants them so instead of throwing them out I give them away for free, baby. If you guys want to pay for shipping and you want one, let me know. I don't want to pay another penny for these things. So like I said, if you want to pay for shipping, I'll ship it to you for free. Let me know. <laughs> so let's get to this pack. Look at my death pile over there. I got to break down the cardboard, put that in the trash. I have to go through over there, get this stuff out of here. This is just, a, it's not enough time of the day. So. Let's get packing these boxes and uh, head out to the UPS store. At the crack of dawn, I imagine you waiting by my doorstep. But it won't be long before I realize it's a picture in my head, in my head. Yeah, you be my love, you be my other heart. All right, so we start off like this here, and it's basically, honestly, it's just like playing Tetris. You feel me? So we're just going to stack this up as high as we can to get to here. And if we cannot get to here, then we need to cut these and make it little. Okay? So we're going to keep doing this box. And, like, over here, you can see... Basically, I'm putting the quantities in there. Sorry, it focuses on my finger. We put the quantities per box. Right now, we're working on the first box. And we're just going through all this stuff. So, let's keep it going. guys so you see we're packing this up good like i said i was good at tetris and we have a little bit left to go and now it's calling for some big items like this so we're gonna put this aside we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna put these other items smaller items that we can fit just like that okay the second one we're gonna take it we're gonna go like, kind of like turn it to the side it should fit just like that okay two we got the third one and just so you know, it is cold as bricks. See, this third one's not going to fit good. So let me put this one down here. Makes that more flat. Boom. Three. And then how many is it calling for? Five. Five. So three. Four. We're going to turn this one to the side. And then we're going to fit one more right here. One, two, three, four. And then there's a second one in the bed. Five. So... We're gonna go here, 
five. And then what else is called for learning company code two? We can't fit that, but we can probably fit this wand here. Rainbow curling wand, which is right here. And just to make sure we're gonna look at the UPC, 1814, okay? 1814, winner, winner, chicken, friggin' dinner. And of course, it's not gonna fit. We're gonna make it fit. I'll be right back. I'm, oh, I guess we could, you know what I could do? Put this right here, see? Good at Tetris, baby. Good at Tetris. Let's go. Is it weigh? You can't see it, but that, believe it or not, that says, there we go. Let me stop touching it. 32 pounds, okay? 32 pounds. So that's what we're gonna put here. In the dimensions of the box, 16 by 16, by 17. Now I'll show you what the cost is in a little bit. Let's see how good we did on the shipping. So I'm gonna hit confirm. It's gonna confirm, it says you confirmed it. And now we wanna go to calculate shipping. So now between the two boxes, it's 37 pounds. Okay, let's see how good we did on the shipping. So we did okay. So you can see here, two boxes, 37 pounds of actual weight, but they bill you for 49 pounds. Why is that? So they bill you for 49 pounds because one of our boxes, we had a lot of space left over and it was kind of lightweight. If you look up here, you know, it was only five pounds for a 14 by 14 by 12 box. So we would have nailed it if we had filled it up or if we could have filled it up a little bit better, but honestly, $12.70 to ship 49 pounds is not bad at all. Try shipping 49 pounds on your own anywhere and see how much that costs you. This is a, we have three pairs of sneakers in here, okay? One, two, and three, but they don't fit all the way. If I'm gonna send this like this and I could stuff it with paper and all that good stuff, right? but they're gonna charge me for this empty space because the weight isn't gonna be, you know, whereas if I could fill, I could throw one, two, two other pairs of sneakers in here, you know, whatever. So what we're gonna do is we have to take this, we have to make what's called a Franken box. I don't know if I could do this with one hand, but what we do is we take up the edges, see that? Take up the edges, okay? Over here, same thing. Over here, it's very hard to do this with one hand, so sorry guys. Okay, and ready? Like magic, we're just gonna push this to the edge and we're gonna just apply a little bit of pressure and look at that, it forms a nice crease. Over here, we're gonna do the same thing and then fold this side down and this side down so we have the correct dimensions for this package. Okay, listen, this is a prime example of why you have to do Franken boxes. And if you are not doing Franken boxes, you're losing money. Okay, so we're gonna confirm it. I already confirmed it, but, and then look at this. So the cost for a 16 by 16 by 17, which is the box, 16 by 16 by 17, okay? This would cost us to ship $15.52, but, it's not 16 by 16 by 17 because we cut it down. We cut it down a good five inches. So this is actually 16 by 16 by 12. And then watch this. Okay. Now we change the dimensions. Let's confirm it. Okay. Now watch this. It was $15.50. Now watch this. half okay you cut it in half this box is now costing us seven dollars and 52 cents to ship and not fifteen dollars and 52 cents 
if we had even stuffed it with paper or anything because the dimensions have changed in its weight-based shipping. Make sure, please, do not leave money on the table. All right? All right, guys. Well, we are trying to race the clock right now. It is quarter of five, and I have to get to the post office. I got one package that should have went out, and I forgot. So now we're racing the clock. Think we can make it? Let's go. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. All right, so we made it. It's dark right now, so sorry if the uh, the lighting is a little off, but we made it in there. And now we go to the UPS store. Let's go. So, shout out to my buddy C Hustles. Give me some bolos. Thank you. Me and uh, me and C Hustles, we trade off bolos. So, appreciate the heads up on this one. We're heading into Home Goods, TJ Maxx. Let's go. I want to see the light. from my other video these have already been selling like crazy See what it's about. It's only four dollars profit on this one. I'm gonna leave it. Oh, they have a stormtrooper. I already checked that. All right, let's look for these items. You know, I gotta check the Pokemon. Twelve ninety nine. dinner let's see I want to check all oh, like these here this here $7.99 but look I'll show you guys right now So we're gonna grab these. I'm gonna take all these puzzles. So we got one, two. They have a bunch of them too. Oh, this is different. ABC, create a scene castle. 
<laughs> Let's see what this one is gonna come up as. No. So just the ABC seems to be the one. ABC, this is it. So, okay, so this one. So this one, $7.99. Okay. Find it, ABCs. The only thing is I hate taking off these stickers, man. I'm telling you. Should we see? Stuff like this has been really popping lately with everybody being home and schooled. Let's see. This is $4.99. No, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, we came what we wanted to get. Let's keep it moving. Keep our eyes open for a couple of bolos. some of the 80s board game and let me show you exactly give me one second so we're gonna buy this for $12.99 we're gonna make almost $10 on that so we're definitely gonna pick that up we got some more Millennium Falcons here. And then these were the dinners. This is what we came for. And then I'm just gonna look around some more. See if we can find anything else. got a lot of good stuff from the Max and from H Goods, the big HG, aka Home Goods. Got some stuff. Check it out. We got dinners for days. Shout out to Sea Houses for that bolo. And now, you know I can't stop, right? I gotta keep going. So I gotta go to one more Home Goods. And TJ Maxx get some more of these bolos hustling man it's hustle season it's really crazy this this year has been nuts nuts stop number two and the last stop before I gotta get home put my daughter to bed and start prepping so let's sit in and get these bolos Stuff. I got some uh, clothing, some 
Millennium Falcons, and I'm officially a part of the Nike sock gang. Let me show you. Some clothing, Millennium Falcons. Nike sock gang, baby. So leaving my final destination, and now I finally understand why people always say Nike sock gang. It's like the, the secret, like, treasure troll, you know what I mean? I'm glad to be part of that club. Now it's time to head home. I am tired, it's like almost 8.30. I was gonna prep these, but honestly, I got no heat in my garage. I might start this stuff in the morning or in the afternoon or something. We'll see. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm home. Kids are sleeping. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. I finally got to set, uh, sit down. So I am going to organize some of my collectibles, start working on this vlog so I can release it tomorrow. And uh, I only have a two hour window. So thanks for watching this Vlogmas episode, whatever it is. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Smash that like button, share, like, whatever you do. I appreciate you all. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.